Hey everyone, it's Samzi here and I'm back with another video for you. In this video, I am going to be talking about how machines are going to take over the world. Well, perhaps not that dramatic. I will be going through how machine learning has changed over time from its inception till today, 2020, Corona times. So let's get started. So first off, there is AI, then there's machine learning, and then there's data science. And a lot of people might use these terms interchangeably because they do have similarities. However, in this video, I am going to be focusing on machine learning, which is a subset of AI. So my first encounter of AI was in a movie called AI. And this movie starred Jude Law and it also starred Haley Jo Osman. And you might have heard of it. Haley Jo Osman played a very freakish robot called David. And David was convinced that he was human. And that day, pretty much, that was what I thought AI was, but not really. Um, AI is pretty much very broad and it is a representation of intelligence. And because most of us cannot agree what intelligence is, because intelligence could be a television, that produces like movies for us to watch, or it could also be like a spreadsheet that simulates profit and loss, or it could be David, which is something that comes very close to human. And that is why I am gonna be focusing on machine learning, because machine learning focuses on building very specialized systems that can learn from experience to the point where they could perform much better than a human at specific tasks. And the first encounter of machine learning actually started back in the 50s and this was by Arthur Samuels who produced a game that could play checkers. Now initially the game could just play checkers and it wasn't better than Arthur but over time this machine actually learned to play much better than Arthur. However Arthur was not known to be a very great checkers player so the model he created was probably very average and at the time it was impressive but today it's probably really not that impressive it was an average model anyways that was the first encounter of machine learning and in the 70s that's when really like a lot of research boomed in terms of machine learning and a lot of researchers were experimenting with a type of algorithm known as neural networks and neural networks were able to solve complex problems such as visual recognition speech recognition and this eventually led to the first commercial application of machine learning Learning, which was a hand digit recognizer and this was built in 1989 and I say first commercial application because this was the first time machine learning was used by companies and corporates and stuff to solve problems faster than a human can and better so even though machine learning was showing great promise to solve complex tasks what really hindered machine learning from growing back then was the lack of infrastructure so back then data wasn't also very easily accessible as well as the computing power didn't exist so now if we fast forward to 1998 we see like an interesting trend google was founded in 1998 and then in 1999, there was like the mention of big data for the first time. And then in the early 2000s, it was like this sudden boom of social media, like rise, like Facebook, like really took over that space. Um, High Five was also there. I was on High Five. This was actually my first social media platform to be on. And I was really excited about social media at that time. And there was also Flickr. And I was giving my data freely to these companies because I was like, I can connect with older people. I can connect with people and show them how I'm living my best life. It was so great not knowing that they were using my information for like to train their algorithms in order to discriminate against me who remembers high five and then the giant YouTube was founded in 2005 and in 2006 Twitter was founded as well as other interesting developments in the big data realm such as the Hadoop framework and AWS so essentially cloud computing started taking off around this time and because of this technology boom that was really known as web 2 and big data we were able to now see new developments and rise in machine learning again so like in 2012 we saw AlexNet which was pretty much a convolution in your network that was like winning at all of like hackathons like left right and center like this algorithm was coming first and AlexNet pretty much gave rise a lot of interest in computer vision it's therefore no surprise that in 2014 we saw an algorithm known as deep face that was created by Facebook. This was a facial recognition algorithm with an accuracy of 97.35%, which is pretty good. Yeah, that good, but only on white people, I guess. 
In 2014, we also saw the establishment of DeepMind. DeepMind was a subsidiary of Google, and DeepMind really introduced the fun with games era as we saw their development of AlphaGo. AlphaGo learned to play the game Go, and it was able to beat the world champion. So this was pretty much more impressive than the previous establishment made by Arthur Samuels, where he built Checkers game that we discussed before, because AlphaGo is a bit more complex. So pretty much that research is like, doesn't even compare to this at all. AlphaGo just destroys it. And if this does not get you into machine learning, I don't know what else will. Perhaps the next development that was StarCraft. Actually not StarCraft, it was AlphaStar. AlphaStar learned to play StarCraft, which is a strategy game. Very complex strategy game. Like, I don't even know how to play this game myself. And if I do learn how to play it, I would probably suck. I was like, what? Machine learning can actually do this. And this really bought into like, the attention of reinforcement learning. So a lot of people started like learning a lot about reinforcement learning, which is a different type of learning algorithm compared to the traditional ones that we knew. So this was really like relevant. In 2019, Offer Star actually beat 99.8% of StarCraft players. Yeah, pretty impressive. So now we're here in 2020. What can I say about 2020? A lot of things. But in this video, we're only going to be talking about machine learning in 2020. And the biggest advancements in machine learning 2020 is GPT-3. GPT-3 is a language model that is apparently supposed to produce human-like text created by OpenAI. And the, some evidence of this is actually in an article that I read a few days ago written by The Guardian. And in this article, somebody who works for The Guardian told the machine learning algorithm to pretty much say, please write an essay to show humans that you, machine, come in peace. And this was a pretty good essay, but after like I read how it was developed and how much tweaking went behind it, I wasn't as impressed, to be honest. Like they still had to curate it and do some changes and stuff, but at the end of the day, they say that it took much less time than if an actual human is supposed to do a lot of thinking and writing behind it. And if you wanna read this essay, the link is down here below. I would like suggest that you read it and see if machines are really gonna come in peace or they're gonna destroy us. And that is pretty much the machine learning timeline, although there has been like a lot of other commercial applications in place, nothing really as significant as the ones that I've discussed right now. What I would like to see in the realm of machine learning is like more algorithms being created to tackle real life problems, like solving the risk of a next pandemic. We could really use that right now, but pretty much machine learning for social good. But either way, I still think that machine learning shows great promise, whether we are only at the beginning of it or whether tomorrow we're going to be at the end of it. Um, we have to be prepared for each and every single scenario. So I have told you where I would like to see machine learning um, head in the next few years or so. I would like to know what you think. Like, where do you think it's going to be the next big Thing in machine learning or where would you like to see more focus in this field i would be so interested in it please leave a comment down below and thank you for watching it as well and if you have enjoyed this content and my other content don't forget to subscribe as well as hit the notification button to not miss out on any new videos that i've released i would also like to thank my patreon backers thank you so much for your support and we have grown quite a bit since my previous video and don't forget you have the power to suggest some content so i'm really looking forward to that <laughs>